with the 2020 Senior Bowl coming up this weekend, I'm going to let you know which players Bills fans should be looking out for. Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this Senior Bowl edition of Believer's Talk where we talk about the upcoming 2020 Senior Bowl and talk about some players to watch for the Buffalo Bills. Now I know that there are going to be some of you that say, hey, what about this guy? What about this guy? So make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know who you're looking out for at the NFL Senior Bowl. But again, guys, my name is Joe. If you're new to this channel, we cover all Buffalo sports. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure after you hit that subscribe button, you hit that notification bell notification you when we go uh, put out new content so make sure you hit the notification bell hit that thumbs up button like this video leave a comment like I said let me know who you're you are going to be watching for this 2020 senior bowl guys if you're new to the senior bowl all the senior bowl is is some of the college uh, level elites coming out and playing showing their stuff to some of the best NFL scouts NFL coaches who show up to see what these guys can do basically you get to see how these college athletes who are coming out into the NFL draft how they perform on the field. We love the combine, what it does, testing uh, testing players, measurables, but this is a way to see some of those players on the field, how they do, how they perform when it is one team versus another team. So we have the uh, the North and the South. You have two teams going at it. I'm going to give you five players from each team that I'm going to be watching uh, for the Buffalo Bills. Again, if you look at the Buffalo Bills draft needs, most of these guys will fit into those categories. I know we're excited to see some of these star athletes just playing football, and I'm going to be watching those too, but there are definitely aspects of this game that I want to watch as a Bills fan to see who fits the mold for Bills fans. Remember, we have five draft picks in the fifth and sixth round, so some of those picks might be coming later who are going to be those potential late round steals i'm gonna let you know right now so like i said i'm gonna give you five players on each team to look out for we're gonna start with the north team okay and then the first guy on the north that i'm gonna look out for is, is an edge rusher it's gonna be alton robinson robinson from syracuse guys edge rusher we know that the buffalo bills need help on that edge getting pressure on the quarterback was an issue at times this season this guy sitting at 6'4 260 pounds he had 46 total tackles in 2019 nine tackles for a loss and four or sacks so you know he knows how to get into the backfield knows how to disrupt things a little bit in 2018 he had 10 sacks on the season 17 tackles for a loss so he again knows how to get in the backfield knows how to create pressure uh in a conference Syracuse playing in the ACC they, they do play some tougher competition so you know especially that Clemson team we know that Clemson kind of runs away with that that conference almost every year recently but you have Miami you have Florida State you have some of the upper echelon teams so you know this guy can can create disruption and you know that he can do well it's at 6'4 260 good size to him so maybe that's someone that the buffalo bills want to bring in uh potentially to visit maybe during uh, the combine process they can have him come in he'll be at the nfl combine so we'll see how he does in the measurables but let's watch him on saturday and see how he does in the senior bowl the next guy i have on this list is an offensive guard and i know what you're thinking i'm thinking the same thing too joe it's kind of boring sometimes just watching the offensive guard how am i going to keep my eye on this guy with the camera moving the camera doesn't spend all that much time watching the offensive line and you're right but if you watch senior bowls in the past they actually do spend a little more a bit more time on the offensive and defensive line remember the line is where the games are won and lost right you control the line of scrimmage you pretty much know that you're going to win a game just remember what the san francisco 49ers did to the packers just last week in the nfc championship game they controlled that offensive line of scrim scrimmage when it looked like the packers might be coming back that offense of the 49ers just ran all over them and was able to get a touchdown quick score to match a score by the packers so you win the line of scrimmage more than likely it puts you in a good good way to win an nfl football game so i'm looking at ben bredesen from michigan offensive guard again we need help on the interior offensive line if you're a bills fan this guy's at 6'5, 325 pounds not too bad of a start 
45 starts for Michigan at left guard. Second team All-American this past season in 2019. Uh, blocking for Michigan, who had a pretty good season. So I think this guy might, might be a later round draft pick. Someone that we could take a look at to maybe fulfill that offensive guard position. Now I know that he has most of his starts, if not all of his starts, at left guard. So we know how much Coach McDermott, Brandon Bean, they like the word versatility. He doesn't give you too much of that. But if he is a dominant left guard, definitely someone you want to take a look at. Especially since we might be losing some of our offensive line firepower that we just got last season. You're talking about Quentin Spain, you're talking about Ladron and Water, you're talking about some of these other guys that we might be losing in free agency. You look at Ben Bradison, he might be someone who can come in and maybe not make an immediate impact, but can definitely be a backup and make an impact later in the season if he needs to. My next player on the North team that I'm going to be watching is a tight end. Guys, we actually have two tight ends that are coming up on the free agency wire, and I'm not going to lie, neither of them are guys that I like really want back, right? Yeah, Tyler Croft, who spent a lot of this season on injury and didn't do much once he came back from the injury. And then you also have, uh, I think it's Lee Smith coming back, uh, or on the, uh, no, it's not Lee Smith. I forget who it is, but we have two tight ends coming up as free agents, neither one that I want back. So you got to look at that tight end position. The North has a guy that I'm really interested in, and it's Bryson Hopkins from Purdue. Tight end, 6'5", 245 pounds, pretty good size for a tight end. 130 receptions in his career for 1,945 yards and 16 touchdowns. Knows how to find the end zone, and that was not, uh, more relevant or re relevant in 2019 when he scored seven touchdowns from that tight end position uh, for Purdue. Big Ten team. Big Ten, again, you're playing against some tough defenses in the Big Ten. This guy was able to stand out. I'm going to be looking at Bryson Hopkins during the Senior Bowl to see how he looks both as a receiving tight end and as a blocking tight end, again, we talked about Coach McDermott liking that word versatility, loves his blocking tight end. So if this guy can get off the ball quickly and has good hands, I expect to possibly see Bryson Hopkins on the Buffalo Bills big board when it comes to draft day. And then, of course, we talk about those wide receivers. Everyone wants to talk about the wide receivers. First on my list, and he's probably first on a lot of Bills fans' list, and that's Michael Pittman Jr., out of USC, 6'4", 220 pounds. You got to like this guy coming out of USC, but you know that he's probably going to be a first round, maybe early second round draft pick. So the Buffalo Bills might have to do some finagling to make sure he's on their team. But if this is someone you want. Again, Sinet, 6'4", good size for a wide receiver. Again, currently on the Bills roster, our tallest wide receiver is 6'2", and that's Duke Williams. So we get some size here if we want it. Watch him on Saturday at the Senior Bowl. He's talking about a guy who in 2019 had over 100 receptions. 1,275 yards and 11 touchdowns. So you got to like that. And hopefully we get to see some of that star power come out on Saturday. And then another wide receiver I'm looking out for is the wide receiver out of Notre Dame, Chase Claypool, 6'4", 229 pounds, another bigger receiver, something that the Bills desperately could need. And he's going to be a later round draft pick. He's not being talked about as, as highly as some of these other draft picks. So definitely someone we can look at the third, maybe fourth round, finagle a late round or mid round draft pick pick day three draft pick on him and get that tall wide receiver that we might need 2019 he averaged 15.7 yards per reception found himself in the end zone 13 times so again knows how to find the end zone which is something the bills need you use that size good for jump balls in the nfl something the bills lacked in 2019 so those are my five players on the north side of the ball. Again, guys, leave me a comment. There are plenty of great athletes to watch on Saturday. I'm just highlighting a couple that might come uh, to fruition for the Buffalo Bills to be someone that they're looking at on draft day if they perform well here on Saturday in the Senior Bowl. So we're moving over to the south side, guys. And guys, before we move over to the south, I want to remind everyone, to, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button for continuing Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sports News. Hit that like button if you haven't already and comment below. Let me know who you want to see come Saturday at the Senior Bowl. Moving to the South team, and the first guy I have on the list is a position that I didn't even mention on the North side, and that's cornerback. We're talking about a great number two corner to be side by side with Tredavious White. Well, how about a guy that went to the same school, went to LSU with Tredavious White? I'm talking about Christian Fulton out of LSU. Guy played really well towards the end of the season last year. We know how well LSU did win the national championship. He could be a shutdown corner in the NFL. Projected to be a first or second round draft pick, depending where you look. So again, 
Buffalo Bills, if they want to dress cornerback early, which I'm not saying they should, but if that's something they are looking at, if he falls to them and he's the guy they want, might need to do some finagling to get to him, but he is a dominant corner and he would definitely give you a great one-two punch at the corner position, make this defense even more elite in the future in the 2020 season. You talk about a guy six foot, 200 pounds, so he's a taller guy, might be able to, to defend against taller receivers a little bit better than Trey White can. 12 batted passes in 2019 and an interception to his name. So you know he can get his hand on the ball, right? So it's very important when you're talking about the cornerback position, just getting your hand in the way of the receivers, making it as difficult as you can to make have them make good catches. Now moving down, we got another defensive end. Again, we know we need help on that edge, right? Getting pressure on the quarterback. On the South team, I'm looking at Marlon Davidson out of Auburn, defensive end. 6'3", 278 pounds. This guy, bigger guy, can get around the edge. Shot my guy in 2019, had 6.5 sacks, 11.5 tackles for a loss. This might be a guy that dips down to those middle rounds, maybe late day two, early day three type guy. I'm looking at him and saying, we get a steal here. We know how the Bills do. Again, we have six or five draft picks in the fifth and sixth round this season. Unless we use those as trade bait to trade up, we need to figure out who we can pick at those picks who might be a steal, might be of some value to our team in the NFL. In his career, Marlon Davidson had 14 and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, and 28 tackles for a loss. So again, a guy who can get into the backfield just like Alton Robinson, we talked about him a little bit earlier, get in the backfield, call, cause a little disruption, and that's what we need for this Buffalo Bills team. We cannot have a defensive tackle, no matter how good he is, Jordan Phillips, leading our team in, t in sacks. We need our, our our guys to get around the edge and be able to c get that quarterback, keep him in the pocket, know your lane. Uh, you know, we have a lot of quarterbacks in the league these days that can run the ball well. We need to make sure we stay in our lanes, keep him in the pocket, make him beat us, make him go after that great secondary that we have. You talk about the safeties, the corners that we have, we can trust them. The number three pass attack this season, I expect it to only be better uh, if we get some good edge rushers. So that's why I'm looking at Marlon Davidson out of Auburn. Then you go down, you got John Simpson, offensive guard out of Clemson. This is a guy that if you watch my video of who to watch for in the national championship game, I circled his name. And as I'm talking to Greg from Cover One Sports, who is currently at Mobile, Alabama, covering the uh, the Senior Bowl. He said that he's watched John, John Simpson, and John Simpson is looking really good, really manhandling some of the guys down low at that offensive guard position. You look look at John, John I'm sorry, John Simpson. Look at John Simpson, 6'4", 330 pounds, a bigger guy. We know that we need help in that interior offensive line position. Uh, he could be a late-round sleeper. This is a guy that didn't play much for Clemson this past season, so he might be a guy that's around late day two, early day three that we might be able to pick up, but let's watch him during the Senior Bowl to see if he's worth investing in a look at. He will also be at the NFL Combine. So again, that's where we'll get a list of his measurables and see how well he does there. And then my fourth guy to watch on the South team, you're talking about Jared Pinky, uh, Pink Knee, I'm sorry, from Vanderbilt, another tight end, 6'4", 260 pounds. Guys, I was not impressed, other than Dawson Knox, I was not impressed with our tight ends at any point this season. You're talking about Lee Smith, a penalty machine. Sure, he can block well, but we need a guy who can block well and not commit penalties that we don't have to be concerned about. Wasn't expect uh, uh, too, too uh, happy with what we got Tyler Croft. Again, Croft's contract coming up this season. Anyway, he's a free agent. Don't expect us to re-sign him. We didn't get to see too much out of Tommy Sweeney. So what do we have there? We don't know. But we look at a guy like Jared Pink Pinkney from Vanderbilt. Tight end, 6'4", 260 pounds. In 2018, he had 50 catches for 774 yards and 7 touchdowns. In his career, 114 receptions, 1,560 yards, and 14 touchdowns. Maybe not a guy that, that is a deep threat necessarily or a guy that has a lot of speed but if you have a guy who can catch the ball open up the middle of the field for josh allen be a safety blanket for josh allen we have dawson knox on the other side could be a dominant one-two duo one-two punch at that tight end position you know i look at the new england patriots throughout third dynasty i say they had the most potent offense when they had Aaron Hernandez and they had Gronkowski in there. Let's get a good one-two tight end punch and see how we can do doing that same thing. Running the ball well, using our tight ends, and then maybe get one of these 6'4 wide receivers to be able to catch those 50-50 balls. I think we'll be all right. And then the last guy I'm going to be taking a look at is, speaking of 50-50 balls, this is the type of guy who can come, go down and get it, or go up and get it every single time. You're talking about a wide receiver 6'6". Six 
out of Texas. I'm talking about Colin Johnson, Texas wide receiver, 6'6", 220 pounds. He averaged 14 yards per reception in his career. That's pretty good, guys. That means he's getting downfield. In his career, he had 188 receptions, 2,624 yards, and 15 touchdowns. I, th I see him as a late round day three wide receiver that we could pick up. Gives us that size we need. If we listen to what Coach McDermott said last year, there's no such thing as a true number one wide receiver anymore. This would be a guy that would give us that jump ball capabilities right off the bat. Still have John Brown, still have Cole Beasley. I have a, I have a tight end or two who can catch the ball downfield as well. I think it makes a very dangerous combo for Josh Allen. So those are the 10 guys I'm looking at. Again, from the north, you got Alton Robinson, Ben Bredesen, Bryson Hopkins, Michael Pittman, and Chase Claiborne. From the south side, you got Christian Fulton, Marlon Davidson, John Simpson, Jared Pinckney, and Colin Johnson. So let me know in the comment section who you looking out for at the Senior Bowl. There's a lot of great names out there. A lot of draft needs for the Buffalo Bills. Who are you looking at as potential Buffalo Bills draft picks? Again, thank you guys for joining me on this edition of Believers Talk. Again, Believers Talk teaming up with BewareTheStampede.com. Guys, go to BewareTheStampede.com for all of your Buffalo Bills news. It's a one-stop shop for if you're looking at contract information, if you're looking at roster moves, if you're looking at the schedule when that comes out. All type of good stuff on there. So you want to make sure to check that out. Jeremy from BewareTheStampede.com also recently started a podcast. Be sure to check that out wherever you can find podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Well, we'll keep you constantly updated on the Buffalo Bills and Buffalo sports. Like this video. And again, let me know who you're looking out for at the Senior Bowl. The Senior Bowl this Saturday from Mobile, Alabama. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Until I do, go Bills.